Researchers are trying to find a way to understand how Alzheimer's disease starts and figure out ways to stop it. And that is the premise behind a $40.5 million collaborative research effort here in Seattle. Scientists want to help build high resolution maps of Alzheimer's patients' brains and identify how their brain cells and neurons are different from healthy people's. This morning, I am joined by Dr. Ed Lean of the uh, Allen Institute and Dr. Dirk Keen, a pathologist at UW Medicine. Uh, good morning to both of you. Great to have you here. And you guys are just announcing this project today, the launch of it. Tell us about what this is. Well, this is, uh, as you know, Alzheimer's disease is the leading cause of dementia uh, in the country and, and causes untold suffering for just millions and millions of people and their caregivers and families. This new center is, uh, represents a major step forward in, in our ability to study the brain as, as, uh, as Alzheimer's disease starts and progresses at the earliest stages and is really dependent upon the tremendous donations uh, of brains from patients and and, uh, and, and other people uh, who support this research. So we've, we've heard a lot of experts say that Alzheimer's is one of the most difficult diseases to figure out, let alone understand. Uh, why is that? Well, Alzheimer's disease is a result of accumulation of these toxic proteins. And that happens for a long, long time, even before a person becomes demented. And so understanding uh, how to treat, all, developing treatments for Alzheimer's disease probably depends on us targeting those very earliest stages. And that's been very difficult because we really don't understand what's happening at, the, at that stage. The Allen Institute is doing some amazing work and, and you've made many types of brain maps. So in very simple terms, can you tell us how you're gonna be mapping Alzheimer's? Yeah, so we've been studying the detailed organization of the healthy brain for many years now. And working with an NIH program called the Brain Initiative, we've developed a series of new technologies that let us study the cell types that make up the brain and to create something of a periodic table of those cell types. The goal of this research is to apply this knowledge and these technologies to study what happens to cell types in the course of Alzheimer's disease, both for the, very early on in the disease and as it progresses. The goal we think of this will be a new understanding that will lead to new targets, both for early diagnosis and ultimately for treatment. So this is the work of several different experts in the medical field. How did you all come together to work on this project? Yeah, this is really a showcase of top-notch Seattle research institutes. UW Medicine, Kaiser Permanente, Washington Health Research Institute, and the Allen Institute, which bring together world-class expertise in both basic brain research and clinical research. Uh, we've collaborated for a number of years on a variety of projects. But this new funding from the National Institute on Aging um, to create the center is, I think, really a testament to the strength of this collaboration and also the need to marry basic and clinical research if we want to tackle complex brain diseases. And so how long could the project take? And uh, I guess if, if, if you're an Alzheimer patient, what would be the, the ultimate end result there? The, 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 the center is funded for five years. Uh, our hope is that the information, the knowledge that we gain through the center will help uh, understand these early changes and identify uh, drug targets and other therapeutic targets that can be developed by, by researchers around the world using this information. If well, I could add that, to that. Oh, uh, oh, go ahead, I'm sorry. If I could just add to that, um, you know, the Allen Institute believes really strongly in open data sharing and a goal is to generate knowledge from this project and to share that knowledge openly with researchers around the globe to really try to catalyze progress quickly. Dr. Ed Lean and uh, Dr. Dirk Keen, thank you so much for joining us this morning. We, we appreciate it and uh, appreciate the great work that you are doing here in Seattle. Uh, 846 right now. Let's